So we're continuing on with convex mirrors, and we're going to have a scenario where um, we're going to have the introductory information, and we're going to be trying to find the missing pieces. So we're going to have the distance of the object is going to be 5 meters. The height of the object is going to be 2 meters. The radius is going to be 1 meter. Question is, what is the focal point? The distance of the image and the height of the image. Let's first go ahead and, and um, we're going to make this to scale. We can't draw five meters on this. And drawing this as five centimeters might be a little bit too small. So I'm going to um, convert these meters into inches. So on my scale, it's going to be five inches, two inches, and one inch. Okay, um, five centimeters, or five inches, one, two, three, four, five, is about, roughly about 12.5, approximately. We're not going to use these for our calculations, we're just going to use these for our drawing. So it's about 12.5 centimeters. Well, one inch is 2.54 centimeters, or just 2.5 centimeters. So therefore, two inches will be five centimeters. But the first thing we need to do with our drawing is find the, um, the focal point. So if the radius is one meter, my focal point will be at 0.5 meters. However, if you remember, this is a convex mirror. The focal point's on the other side of the mirror, so I therefore need to put a negative, and that's really important for all of our mathematics. If you don't put that negative in there for a convex mirror, all of your calculations will be completely wrong. So please make sure that you get this right for the convex mirror. So let's go ahead and draw this. We'll draw it down below here, and then we'll do our calculations um, up above to see how close that we were. No, I'm changing my mind. Let's do it up here. Okay. I'm going to draw this all the way across like that. And I want to be five inches away from my mirror. Okay, so here is where my object is going to appear. And my object at five inches or 12.5 centimeters, maybe I should use it in centimeters. So that's about right. So 12.5 centimeters. We're now going to go up 5 centimeters for the height of my object. So there's the height of my object. Again, this is just used to draw so we can figure out how close we should be, and we're going to see if our calculations are correct. Now, my focal point is going to be half a meter, which means this is going to be minus a half of an inch. And half of one, 2.5, so we got 2.54 divided by 2. This gives us closer to 1.3, minus 1.3 centimeters for the focal point. So we can go ahead and we can draw our mirror in. So there's the mirror. Remember, this is concave, like that. And I'm going to measure my focal point at 1.3 centimeters. I now have everything that I need to um, sketch this. So if you remember, the first ray is going to come in parallel to the principal axis, like this. And it's going to align itself up with the focal point. 
there's my reflected ray going off. Ray number two is going to align up with the focal point. And it's going to reflect off parallel to the principal axis. Remember, this is a mirror, so our light rays cannot go through the focal point for this. So our first one lines up parallel. It can't go through the mirror to reach the focal point, so it's reflected with the orientation of the focal point. The second one, it can't travel through the mirror to reach the focal point, but it's reflected off parallel from the point it would have entered into the mirror. So again, these are diverging. We will never see these converge. So we need to draw sight lines. So we'll draw sight lines back like this, and then a sight line back like that. Okay, so this is going to be about a half of a centimeter. So that's going to be the height of my image, which is 0.5 uh, centimeters. We'll have to do some calculations for that. And the distance is going to be about 1.3 centimeters. Remember, the distance is negative, but my height is going to be positive. I'm going to do some calculations, and we'll be back for the next part.